Hi guys and welcome to another Dilly video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We had a great question. Somebody asked, well, how do I create a sticky bottom menu? And a sticky bottom menu is a menu that sticks to the bottom of the page here. If you look at our page here, we've got a menu down there. If I scroll down the page, you can see it stays there. It's on top of all of our content. I'm actually using the same menu as the top there, but obviously you can put any menu in here. And with Divi, it's pretty easy to do. So let's get started. I've actually got this page open with the Divi Builder enabled. I've enabled my Visual Builder up here. So let's go down and create our menu. It doesn't particularly matter where you create it, because once we've created it, we're going to turn it into a fixed element. So let's add a new row. I'm going to add a single column in there. And funnily enough, I'm going to add a menu. Divi comes as standard with all these gray modules right here. If you have WooCommerce installed, it'll add another dozen or so to help you sell your products. But today we are looking for the menu. There we are. And it'll pop open straight away. Here it is. It's put in my only available menu because it's the only one I've got. If you've got multiple menus, obviously this is where you select them but I've only got the one so we'll stick with that. If you want to show your logo you can choose to do so here but I really don't want to I just want to have a, a straight menu there. You can choose which elements you've got in there again if you've got WooCommerce you can choose to show the shopping cart and you can show a search icon if you want to. If you want to link the actual menu the whole bar itself to something you can do that here but again, with the menu, I don't feel there's there's much of a need to do that. Okay. Let's move on to the design tab and see what we want to do. Well, I want to put it in the middle for a start. So layout, I want it center aligned. I don't have any drop downs on mine at the moment, but if, if you did have drop downs, you can decide which way the drop downs go. If it's fixed at the bottom of the page like it's going to be, you're going to want your drop downs to drop up, so that makes perfect sense. Okay, I'm just going to give this a purple background or whatever color you, you want to give yours. I'm just going to choose purple for simplicity. Now I'm going to turn, turn my text white. Menu text. You can have a separate color for an active link if you want to. But all my text I'm going to turn white. And like anything else, you can capitalize it, underline it, do whatever you want to do with it. I'm happy to my, for mine to be just like that. You've got your text size, letter spacing, line height. You can completely customize it however you want. Seeing as we've got a colored background, you can put a little bit of a box shadow in there, just make those stand out a little bit more. But that's entirely up to you. Okay, well that's kind of a menu, but I'm going to need this whole bar to stretch the full width of our screen here. Also want to make it a little bit wider. So I'm going to actually go into the row itself. So I'm going to save what I've got going on with the module here. I'm going to go into the row itself. The green tab, green for a row, blue for a section and dark for a module. I'm going to give it a purple background still on the content tab just go down to background and I want to make it full width so let's go over to design sizing pull the width up to 100% I'm going to copy that 100% control C and paste it in down below in max width control V to paste and as you can see we've now got a full width bar with our little menu in it which looks more like a menu to me. That's great. You can type in the 100%. You don't have to copy and paste if you don't want to. Right. Now we need to put it where we want to put it. And we want to put it on the bottom of the page. And with recent updates to Divi, they've got their positioning over here in the Advanced tab. I'm still in the row. I'm going to go to Advanced. Down to Position. And I'm going to make mine fixed. And as you can see, it's disappeared because it's thrown it up to the top left of the site up there. And we can decide where we want it by 
clicking these buttons if I want it in the middle of the page it's right there if I want it on bottom left there but I want it bottom middle and as you can see it's down there but it looks like our other elements are sort of spilling over the top of it so what we want to do to prevent them doing that is give it a, a large Z index number Z index is forwardness on the site if you've got two elements and one element has a Z index of say this has got a Z index of six and our menu's got a Z index of five the six is going to be on top show on top of the five like this so let's roll down just a little bit more and we'll find our Z index you can scroll it up now while we're in the builder it may look not look like it's on the top but let's save our changes and check it on the other end we may need to take that Z index up we'll save our draft and exit the visual builder there it is let's try rolling around yep that was okay you can see now as we're scrolling up our menu is staying on top of the other elements which is what that pulling that Z index slider did for us now when we were in the builder it looked a little bit like it was still happening but there you have it now you've now got a full width sticky menu on the bottom of your page really simple to do with uh, Divi's new positioning effects so I hope that's answered your question and I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day